Wigs Geeks, Adam here coming at you with another random comic book haul video. I don't know what's going on in my town lately, but I've been finding all sorts of stockpiles of comics at secondhand stores, and I got really excited when I went to a new one today where they were all 40% off. Oh, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, I gotta take advantage of it. So in no particular order, here are the finds, all right? First up here, yep, it is this relaunch of Aquaman from the 80s. As we know, this costume is uh, coming back into style, I guess. Jason Momoa going to be wearing a version of it in the Aquaman sequel. So that was super fun to find. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so this is an issue of Marvel Tales I had as a kid. Now, I didn't buy it because I was excited to find out about Captain Britain. No, I was excited about this guy. Yep, spider Ham in here had a backup story. And I love it because it was him in the black costume. So anyway, that was a very, very fun issue. I was excited to reclaim that for my collection. Check this out, though. Getting back to our era of the 90s, right? A Marvel Vision magazine. This one's talking all about Onslaught, right? So this is definitely something that Wizard and Marvel may be a little bit strained to their relationship. Marvel figured they could do it just as well, started their own hype magazine. Of course, you know, they'd had Marvel Age and stuff for a while, but uh, now an issue of Miracle Man, yes, recently mentioned on our episode with Jason Inman. Uh, you don't come across these in the wild too often, so that was very fun. I actually already have that issue because I have quite a few of that original Eclipse comics run, but, you know, it's always good to have another copy. Uh, check out this, though. Untold Tales of Spider-Man. This was literally also being discussed on our recent episode, but not just that issue. Oh, we got a ton of Untold Tales of Spider-Man, these 99 cent books from Marvel at the time that were a big deal. So I was excited to get a run of these because everybody out there, you were telling me that Kurt Busiek did an awesome job with this series, and now I'm excited to delve into it and see what it was really all about. Uh, but a series I know plenty about, Gen 13, this was a random issue I'm sure I have, but the cover actually didn't jump out at me as something I remember, so I don't know if it was a variant or whatever, but I was like, gotta get it. Uh, speaking of image, though, how about Cyblade She and She Cyblade? Oh, yes. Okay, why is this a big deal? First appearance of Witchblade in these pages, okay? This one right here, Witchblade makes a full-on appearance Sarah Pazzini is there looking a little different than she did in her ongoing series but I've been looking for that for a while so I thought that was a cool find uh check this out though Scott McCloud's Zot of course we all know his understanding comics book but I'd never read his actual comics so I was excited to get a look here he was getting a lot of play talking about uh manga and anime uh in some upcoming episodes we're going to talk about here's more gen 13 now this was a variant cover that I did not have currently. I had the other one that has Fairchild. You're kind of seeing through her legs looking at the bad guy. So it was fun to get that variant ready to go. Uh, how about some Wildcats with Jim Lee? Yep. So some Jim Lee issues of Wildcats when he came back to actually uh, do some penciling and Alan Moore was writing. Going to be covering those on an upcoming mini episode because that's like right in the middle of our current timeline. Uh, also, this was the Wildcats Zero issue, so I thought I'd just grab it while I was there. They had a ton of Wildcats. I don't need it all. All the Travis Charest years and all that. Uh, now, here's an issue of Fate. I think I have another one in the mix here somewhere. Uh, if you might recall, I told everybody that I had, like, the first 12 issues of Fate I got at a comic book store. I decided not to review it for the show. There wasn't much to say, but I thought, eh, hey, grab a few more and keep it going. But speaking of Marvel Age, this is a fun one, right? Look at all these costume variations. I love that. Like, I'm excited to read what they were saying about that kind of stuff in there. Uh, Captain Carrot and the Zoo Crew. Okay, so we got one and two. Uh, just, just some goofiness from DC Comics, right? They're just <laughs> going to give us those furry superheroes. Uh, Solar Man. Not Solar Man of the Atom. Solar Man from Marvel Comics. It's the first issue. It's got to be worth a bundle, right? <laughs> Looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, here we go. Deathstroke the Terminator. Grab this because I remember seeing this in Wizard talking about the new female vigilante, right? So I got this and the second issue uh, of her appearances. I don't know. Peacemaker Season 2? 
They might just bring in a female vigilante, right? They gotta mix it up. He could have a love interest. You never know. Uh, check this out, though. What if the Hulk went berserk? Doesn't he always? But I was like, is this an official what if issue or is this a Hulk issue? I've never seen this style before. So I'm curious to flip those pages, find out what's going on. Uh, now here is Spider-Woman, okay? Spider-Girl, I know, but Spider-Woman in this style? It was very uh, interesting to me. I actually have another Spider-Woman somewhere in the mix, but also I had to grab this. Whenever I see Plastic Man and Superman together, like it just seems like a fun team up. And that's going to be coming up in the timeline pretty soon as well. Uh, check this out, though. Also smack dab in what we're covering these days. Marvel Ultraverse with Nightman versus Wolverine. Oh, two tough guys going at it. Uh, what else we got here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They had a couple Wizard Half issues that I didn't have. So this Rising Stars, which is, I don't know if that was anything that was super popular uh, in its day. But this uh, Tales of the Darkness, so that was another one we didn't have. At least I don't think we have. Maybe we did. Got to go back in the archives and check. But when I see them, I tend to grab them. All right, check this out, though. We definitely talked about this from the creator of Shaman's Tears. Yes, Maggie the Cat. <laughs> Michael, this is for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. He would kill me if I sent those to him. All right, let's check this out here. Oh, yeah, there's that other issue of Fate. Okay, like I said, I was just grabbing them because they get a little bit more of the story did it get better who knows check this out though unity 2000 preview book this is wild like this is a piece of history that you know in the early days of wizard i don't remember reading about that so i'm very curious to find out what it's going to tell us about that crossover at valiant comics oh here it is yeah the first issue of this spider woman character that i've never heard of i've never heard mentioned if you know about this spider woman let's hear did she come back in one of the, uh, you know, these like Spider-Verse books? You know, they had so many different variations. Uh, now, a couple zero-hour books that go with the zero-hour hype. So there was the zero-month book and then this zero issue here. So I think we had one of them in a collection of zero-hour books, but I grabbed them just in case because I always like to get it a little bit more insight. Dan Jurgens worked so hard on zero-hour. Uh, Cerebus. Cerebus, I have not read. We keep talking about Dave Sim and Cerebus on the podcast. He keeps coming up, and I just never have read it. So I was very interested. Also, the fact that he's here with Red Sophia. <laughs> so this looks like it's going to be an interesting read. Give me at least a taste of why people were so... I mean, it should be one of those phone book-sized ones, right? Like, I remember seeing those at the comic store as a kid. I just never bought them. Uh, check this out. Ah, little Joe Mad Battle Chasers. We have a couple of issues uh, that I've picked up previously in preparation for when he breaks off on his own. So, want to be well read. You guys love your Joe Mad. That's what we're always hearing. Uh, now, back in the Gen 13 world, I was able to get quite a few issues of DB8 here. I had them uh, back in the day, like the first two or three before I dropped out. So I'm very curious to see uh, where we go. I think I actually have a bootleg issue, too, that was hyping it. Now, check this out, though. Superman Red, and I think I have down here, where'd it go? Yep, there he is. Superman Blue! Yes, so Superman Red, Superman Blue. Michael, he loved this turn of events. Jason Inman, on our recent episode from Geek History Lessons, said he was a fan. I never read him, so I'm curious to see what was going on in those books. Uh... The Nocturnals by Dan Brereton. Uh, these are some books that actually, you know, they command a decent price online these days. And uh, I read through it. It wasn't 100% for me, but I'm curious just to see if I'm reading it in a physical form and not a digital form, if I enjoy it more. I'm much more of a thrill killer uh, Dan Brereton fan. But check this out. This three-dimensional adventure, right? This Superman 3D issue. I love a 3D gimmick. I just, it looks vintage. I'm sure it's not. Uh, it's a reprint, but I just thought it'd be fun to get through. But speaking of Superman, Superman Gen 13, I have this. I have a poster, of the promo poster for Superman Gen 13, but I don't have this cover. So they had a couple different variants. So I thought I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll grab that. Uh, let's see. We got some more Superman here. Superman and the power of Shazam. Okay, I'll take it. Long-haired Superman. Love those team-up books, as you see. I've been grabbing those lately. Oh, check this out now. Let me see. Make sure I get all these together. All right. I'm good. I'm back, guys. 
<laughs> so what if you recall uh there was a major crossover between dc and the whole uh world of milestone comics so worlds collide was that crossover so i got one i got two okay there we go in hardware so let's see what else we got three we're superboy okay getting into the mix here and then it kind of jumps ahead. I got issue number eight. I actually have the crossover where Steel was fighting hardware, I believe. But this is another uh, issue of that. Number 12 in the series. And then number 14. Oh, I think, was this the conclusion? Yeah, this issue, A World Dies. So it was cool to get those. I know a lot of people are really interested in Milestone these days. Uh, check this out, though. A Ninja Turtles Adventures book from Archie. Love to get those. Uh, another Marvel Tales. And again, Spider-Ham is up in the corner box. You know, you got the Punisher in the mix. That's not the draw for me. I want to read a little bit <laughs> more uh, Spider-Ham adventures. Check this out, though. World's Finest 3 with Superboy and Tim Drake Robin. Never heard of it interested <laughs> i'll just put it that way let's just keep it simple uh and then this green lantern book looked really cool because i was trying to figure out is this superboy's jacket that's what it looks like idol worship so sounds like kind of a cool storyline that'll be coming up i'm sure promoted in wizard and finally here check this out this is an x-men collector's preview book i actually have like one for generation x and a couple other things I love when Marvel would release these hype magazines because they're really interesting to me just to see what they were thinking of promoting. You know, specifically, obviously, this is Age of Apocalypse is what they're getting into, talking about what's coming up in 95. But anyway, that's my haul, guys. Uh, I was, man, I got to go back. The, the guy actually said, I got three more long boxes that I have to go through and I'll bring them out. I was like, I can't believe it. So <laughs> I'm sure I'll be back with another haul video all in good time. But thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you're subscribed on Twitter, at Wizards Comics, on Instagram, at Wizards underscore comics. Are you subscribed to the podcast itself? We do a lot of fun stuff here on YouTube, but you want to get in on the ground floor with the podcast. Ground floor. Who am I kidding? <laughs> we got 150 episodes over there. But uh, so much more to come. We're booking more interviews with comics pros to talk about their experience with Wizard Magazine as well. So yes, so much more on the way for you. But in the meantime, keep your books bagged and boarded.